Hello there, some racers. I hope you're all doing well, and that 2025 has brought you plenty of door-to-door -door racing. Now, some of you have asked about what settings I run, and while I wanted to make this video quite a while ago, um, as we all know, 2024 Season 4 brought some performance problems. And so, I spent most of the holidays testing out every combination of settings to find the smoothest, most sharpest image I could given the current build, and I'm here to show you guys what I found. Now, I'm not going to be going through what every setting does, but if you do want to discuss any specific settings, feel free to join our Discord, the link is in the description, you can post your questions there and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I've also grouped the settings and I've marked them as chapters so you can jump to the section that you're mostly interested in. And so, if you have found something useful in this video, I hope you'll consider hitting that like button, it really helps small channels like me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you out on track. I figured I'd list the uh, specs of my PC here so you can use that as a reference towards your own machine and then you can decide whether you want to step up or step down some of the uh, settings I've listed here. It's also worth noting that I do both sprint racing and endurance racing, especially in multi-class, so I'm always looking for the settings that I can keep across the board with the minimal amount of changes between the different types. It's important to note that in VR your point of view is continuously changing so anything like reflections, puddles or mirrors are a bit of a performance killer. At least over and above the usual suspects like clouds and shadows. You'll note that the settings I'm changing for multi-class are ones that can be changed on the fly. Don't require you to restart your iRacing session or your VR or heaven forbid your whole PC. 